push the culture forward. Um, I honestly think just by, you know, doing what I love, just doing things that speak and represents me, um, you know, I always like to start with a level of authenticity. And, um, you know, I think that it starts there, you know, uh, being authentic to yourself, being authentic to who you are, you know, what culture means to you. Um, and initially, um, I think just organically, you know, by me, you know, dressing the women that I dress and me being a part of, you know, contributing to, you know, music culture and the fashion culture. I think that um, I think that it all speaks with, you know, speaks for itself and just in terms of you know, the collaborations that I've done in terms of, you know, my work ethic and my design sensibilities, it all speaks to a level of, you know, pushing the culture forward. The type of cancer that I had was a fibrosarcoma, it's a bone cancer. Um, and I've done a lot of activations around that as well. It's not something that I always talk about, but it is a part of my past. Um, I mean, I, get, I suppose after 9-11, you know, my mom wanted just a fresh start. You know, she met my stepdad and they moved to Delaware. At the time, I was going to art and design high school. Which you loved. Of course. And then I was pulled out, like, right in the middle of, like, 11th grade. It's like, oh, you got to be kidding me. Like, I'm, I'm almost done. You know, can I stay with my grandparents? Can I stay in Queens? She was like, absolutely not. You're going to come with me. So I had to sort of start fresh. And when I came to Delaware, I did not have any friends. I didn't have anything. Um, so that was really, and I guess it, timing is everything, that was my time to hone in on my craft. I sew it every day, I sketched every day, I listened to music more. I was in my room like every day, every day of the week. Of course I worked retail jobs, I was working at Banana Republic, I was working at Express, you know, doing visuals for the window. Um, because that was my way of wanting to, you know, contribute to the fashion industry, but I realized that I needed to do something greater and something bigger. Well, I think in terms of diversity, you know, it's been a topic for the last, I don't know, five years, you know, especially for me as an African-American designer. You know, when you think about articles that have been written about me or, you know, topics, it's like, I always tend to feel a bit, I don't know, maybe pigeonholed sometimes because I like to be introduced as a designer, not as an African-American designer, and it doesn't mean that I'm ashamed of who I am. It's just that, you know, when it comes down to my profession, why does the skin color have to, you know, why is that introduced first? Um, Laquan Smith as a company, I think that what we try to do is, is represent that, you know, um, inclusivity, you know, diversity. I think that term and that phrase is used so loosely. There's a lot of companies that talk about it and want to have panels about it, but where's the real true action? You know, you're having the conversations with people that are only diverse. What about the people that, what about the gatekeepers that, you know, are not inclusive and, and that are not diverse? Those are the same people that we need to be in the room with and have these sort of hardcore conversations with. Number one, my, my, my messaging or my goal is like, if you want to feel sexy, if you want to look fabulous, if you want to be the center of attention, that's Laquan Smith. And so there's sort of that attitude that, you know, I'm trying to like portray through, you know, through the runway, you know, showmanship. It's like, you know, I, I, could, I could book a, a, a size eight model, you know, is that considered plus size in America? Perhaps not, but it's still my form, my way of saying, well, this is not this, you know, this is not the norm, this is not the standard. Um, you know, and, and again, just even with like a lot of the clients that I've dressed, everyone from Kim Kardashian to Serena Williams to Beyonce, Jennifer Lopez, I mean, all these women have different body types, you know, different backgrounds, different cultures. I, I'm just, I just think that that is something that I want to continue to embrace. And, and I think that I represent diversity very well. And even by the activations that I'm doing, obviously with Moet and so many other incredible brands that I've been, you know, really lucky to be a part of, that within itself is a form of representation and, and inclusion.